Hello Willy Heads, I've got a, this is an interesting story. Now take a look at this picture here. This city here does not exist. It is a ghost city. Uh, this, uh, the fog here is, there's a river here. Uh, there's fog on the river and the other side of the river, there is nothing. This ghost city is a mirage. There are ghost cities appearing above the skies, above the clouds in China. And this is one of them. Let's have a look at a few more pictures here. There's another one here. China baffled by mystery city scene floating in the sky. Well, I've got a look at the video now. It's it's de it's decisively uh, decisively. What am I saying? It's it's very interesting, and and the scientific th um, explanation uh, does not cut any mustard at all. At least not with me. Um, there's another one of them. I think that's the net. They've been these stories have been around for a while, but this is recently. Um, so don't, this may have been from 2012, but this is there's um, they've been appearing recently, like in the last couple of weeks as well. Here we go. There's another example here. Here's the real city. Here's the cloud. And this is just a mirage. And it's not a mirror, by the way, of what's below. It's an actual separate entity appearing above the clouds in Chinese cities. Um, okay, let's have a look here. Now, this is that. This is National Geographic's explanation of it. We'll have a look at that in a minute. This is the Daily Express British tabloid. Let's see here. Did a parallel universe open up? Hundred Sea Floating City filmed in skies above China. Okay, there it is. Um, there it is again. Let's have a look at some of the footage here. Um, ba ba ba. Okay, let's cut to the chase here. Here we go. I mean, this is actually floating above uh, the sky. Um, It's just very, very, I mean, look at that. That's absolutely crazy. Um, I don't know what to make of it. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's a very, it's a very odd, f I mean, look at that there. This is floating above the clouds. God, if people would have seen that, there's another one there. There's a picture below. This is another apparition seen across from river, and another one there. And those aren't real. Those are apparitions, just like that. Um, if people would have seen these hundreds of years ago, they'd have gone. They'd have gone batshit crazy. Um, it's it's so hard to. I mean, look at that. Look at that. And as I said, it's not a mirror of what's below. It looks actually it looks like New York City, doesn't it? places what do you make of it what a crazy phenomenon and I'm gonna go and have a look at the National Geographic site now because they give a, um, a good explanation as to what they think this is uh, well they don't they give a good scientific explanation which is of course no explanation at all it's a way of belittling what you've seen and saying that yeah you know we don't believe a word of it National Geographic China's floating city in the science of mirages Obviously, Nat Geo are backing up the, the scientific point of view of this. Here's the uh, here's the Chinese uh, story. There it is. There's the same thing from Chinese TV. I love Chinese writing. It's so beautiful and mysterious. How crazy is that? And there's even a, a mirage of the mirage above that. Um, I don't recall anything being seen in, in this country of it. Um, video of a mysterious cityscape in the clouds hovering over a Chinese city has gone viral this week and explanations for this startling video range from a secret NASA project to an elaborate hoax to an actual atmospheric phenomenon. Well, what they say here, um, what do they call it? It could be something called a Feta Morgana, she says, which is a kind of atmospheric mirage. To get a Feta Morgana, you need cold, dense air near the ground with a layer of warmer air above it, Coleman says. This is called a temperature inversion since it's the reverse of what usually happens in the atmosphere. They usually occur over large bodies of water since the air tends to be relatively cooler closer to an ocean or a lake surface but it can form over land too. This kind of layering will bend light rays as they pass from one air mass onto the next. So, okay, sounds a logical scientific explanation. How do you explain that? That is not light rays being bent. 
that is quite clearly a cityscape from a modern urban city. Uh, and there's no, you know, no amount of bullshit, which is essentially what, what, what um, Nat Geo is spinning here, the scientific uh, explanation, can can make up for it. it they, you know, it's it's a useless explanation that doesn't carry, it doesn't cut any mustard, at least not with me. Uh, this is the Mail Online ghostly apparition over entire city. Whoops, what's happened to my mouse? My my pointer. Ghostly apparition of entire city appears over Chinese River, but is is it just a mirage? It is obviously it, it is just a mirage that isn't actually existing. This apparition appeared earlier this month after heavy rainfall. This is in two thousand and eleven. As I said, this has been happening recently. This is obviously a past example. Of after heavy ra rainfall and humid conditions along the Xi'an. Well, National Geo just said it needs cold air. Um, Xinan River in Hunshan City in East China. Look at that! Now that's a great, that's so cool. That is not light rays been 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 um been bent. It just isn't. There's another one there. Um, I don't know what to make here. Um, it's an interesting phenomenon, Willie Heads. Um, you know, let me know what you think. Uh, let's. Uh, <laughs> it's quite crazy, really. I mean, look at that. It's just. Uh, this is what's appearing abo above. <laughs> it looks like a vision of hell there, doesn't it? It really does. And as I said, you if it was a, if that was a mirror of what was below. It would kind of make some sense, but it's not at all. These are separate, completely cityscapes that no, that bear no resemblance to what's on the ground. Um, if you, if you have got a, a, a few, if you know something that I don't, I mean, there's, there's some, there's, there's some, there's some speculation that, that the Chinese are experimenting with holographs and something called Project Bluebeam, which I don't know anything about, but I will investigate. If you know anything about it, let me know. Uh, as always, feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And uh, thanks for your company. And let me know what you think. It's an interesting story. Bye bye for now.